Hello everyone, and today's video is going to be a get ready with me, I suppose, and probably a mini mukbang. <laughs> Has anyone ever done like a mukbang get ready with me before? I don't know, but I've got my gingerbread latte, which I'm so happy about. I put like a little cinnamon stick in there, and I just got tuna pasta with a bit of cheese, veg, whatever, and I'm just getting ready. Don't know why. I looked at that for the time. It is 10 o'clock and I have literally like two hours to get ready. I'm gonna leave at 12, my, well, maybe a bit early. Uh, my interview today is at half past 12, uh, like 20 minutes away. So I like to give myself like a bit of time to enjoy getting ready and also to give myself enough time like to get there early just in case like I can't find the place or like Google Maps takes me like a weird way. That's what we're doing today. How are you guys? <laughs> are you guys feeling festive? I mean, I'm trying to feel a bit festive, hence the latte and the Christmas cup <laughs> but I think I'm slowly getting there I've had a bit of time to relax a bit of time to process things I think I'm slowly like feeling a bit festive so the weather is absolutely horrible like I think we've got like a storm and the wind has been absolutely insane I mean we woke up yesterday and there was like this huge like industrial carrier bag thing it must have like blown off a lorry and it's just in our garden and there's like two other ones like down the street <laughs> But it's quite windy, it's actually raining, so that's fun. I'm obsessed with these things. So four and a half sins, and I've just had an advent calendar chocolate, which is two and a half sins. I've already used up half of my sins, and it's not even noon. <laughs> but I just really fancy the latte, and I feel like really hungry, to the point where I kind of feel a bit sick. And I want to do a little, maybe a festive get ready with me. I'm not sure if doing too much on the eyes is a bit over the top and dramatic for an interview. So I'm just gonna do simple, simple stuff today. I'm not sure what palettes I'm gonna use, but I do need to moisten the sponges when I'm kind of relaxing while getting ready. My brain's always like, hurry up, like you're not gonna have enough time. But I'm like, bitch, calm the f now. It's like too early in the morning to eat pasta, but like I have nothing else really to make. Oh my god, it's so good. not as good as Costa, and not as good as Coffee One. This cafe, they were £1.50 for eight sachets. It's Christmas, I'm gonna have a gingerbread latte. I don't care what the sins are. And the sachets are less sins than like a takeaway cup. I think like it's nine sins for a small like Costa gingerbread latte. So not as good, but I'll, I'll accept it, you know. Yeah, I'm just getting ready. Today is Tuesday the 10th of December and I'm starting to feel a little organised with like presents and stuff. I mean I've been doing some mainly online shopping but thankfully because of unemployment I have time to sort of like go to town and like look for presents so that's also the plan tomorrow. Ben's got the day off and bless him he's not feeling very well so He's doing a 10 hour shift today and he's literally dead. <laughs> so, you know, fair play to him. But tomorrow we're gonna relax a little bit before I've got to go off to see my mum. I'm gonna go to town, maybe do like a little bit of in-town shopping because sometimes you never know what you want to get someone until you see it. And I had that the other day, I went in Morrison's and saw, I'm not going to say you what it is because they might be watching. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, like perfect. I had to get it. Like I didn't know that was the gift until I saw it. You get what I mean? So that's sort of the good thing about shopping in town because you don't know what to find people until you see it. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'm going to do some shopping. Then it's Wednesday tomorrow. So every Wednesday I see my mum at like quarter past three when she finishes work. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. The rest of the week I don't really know to be honest because I don't know what like if I'm gonna get some interviews lined up I don't know you know if I get the job I'm gonna start working so I don't really I'm not gonna be too organized and planned because I just don't know what's gonna be happening so I mean Thursday is Slimming World so obviously I've got weigh in and I've been actually kind of good this week I mean usually I will have a cheat day every Friday just to like that's gonna be my treat so I've got something kind of like to look forward to and whenever I eat like takeaway I do always lose I kind of allow myself that but sometimes I do have two cheat days and even with two I do lose like one pound one and a half pounds so this week I've only had one and that was on a Saturday because we don't really have like money to be splashing out on takeaway been kind of good and I've been like kind of making food enjoy like trying to enjoy my sins as well I shouldn't have to, like I really wanted a latte and I was like have one then like 
normally i'll save my sins for like the evening when i want like a little snack and i'm quite hungry like late at night but recently i have been going to bed kind of early so i haven't really been that hungry which is a good thing last night i went to bed oh gosh i don't even know like half 11 maybe no it was quarter past 12 sorry i went i got into bed like around half 11 ish and i went to sleep around quarter past 12 and woke up at quarter past nine to take ben into work for 10 and i've got two hours before i have to leave but i've been wanting to i think i mentioned and did i mention it in a previous video i want to have like a new schedule like a new sleeping pattern this is sorry <laughs> no routine because usually like if i've got more interviews in the future than probably going to be early in the morning but i miss being an early bird that's the plan i am quite tired but i was like i didn't really have to get up until 11 today but because ben's not feeling very well i was like i'll give you a lift so you don't have to stay out in the cold waiting for the bus or like walking in the rain quite nice to be up a bit earlier but i've got some time to kill i kind of also don't like having time to kill because like the more i wait around i get kind of like nervous obviously but it's normal i suppose i don't get too nervous about actual interviews i just get nervous about the travel because i'm like oh my god what if i like hit unexpected traffic or you know i can't bloody find the place because google maps is weird i don't know it's the travel anxiety not like the actual interview so I haven't worn like a full face of makeup since the photo shoot I did with April. I don't even remember how long ago that was. <laughs> it must have been before October because it was like a pumpkin patch shoot. So it has been a couple of months I think since I wore a full face. To be honest I haven't really been too bothered because I never used to like want to go out of the house without a full face of makeup on. My confidence has grown. Well I mean it must have grown a little bit because I don't really give too much of a hoot anymore about what I look like, <laughs> which is nice, but it is nice also to get a bit of glam once in a while. I don't know if my eyebrows are even or not, but no. My glasses like hide my eyebrows anyway, so it's fine. My camera setup is not the best to be honest i don't know where my tripod is i currently the mirror that i bought with like the lights on also doesn't work and i sort of when i bought it i bought it before i moved house obviously didn't open it to check that it worked because i'm a moron and it doesn't work so i kind of left it too late to even send back and i don't think there was like a refund on policy on it anyway so my ring light that i bought i can like detach from the tripod so it's what I use to do my makeup with and um, being a ring light obviously it has like a little clip thing for your phone and that's where my phone is and that's what I use but because there's nothing for the light to stand on it falls every now and then so I don't really have money to get a new setup or like the room really don't have the space hopefully after Christmas I'm gonna try and if I have some money get some of those big like plastic boxes because our landlady said that we're allowed to use the attic and our house is very very small so there's not a lot of attic space which is why we weren't really allowed to use it but the spare room essentially is the attic when there's so much crap in there and i don't know if i told you but the other day our like heater and water just broke and it was so cold i mean luckily it sort of happened and then like within the day like the next day i contacted the landlady and her husband came out and fixed it like the same day but he had to go into the spare room to like bleed the radiators and obviously he couldn't get to the radiator so i'm like well this is why i asked to use the attic because there's so much crap in there there's like big cardboard boxes that we need to like break down take to the tip which we haven't really done yet because we haven't had time so hopefully do that soon but i need to like you guys probably know if you've seen my video i like i collect dolls and i also collect ty beanies and that's what is like in the spare room it's just 
full of them so i want like big boxes and in that little cupboard over there we need to tidy because that's where the boiler settings are so if something was to knock that and turn it off then bad times most of my toys are in there in a the spare room all my crafting stuff is in there and I can't get to it because I want to start crafting again now that I've got some time. It's all in there and I can't get to it so hopefully... I mean I might do a video about it as well, like a little time lapse cleaning because I love doing those. So. And just to see all the fun stuff that I find. If you want to come along with me for that, that'll be fun. I want to do a little festive look but I think it's too much. I'm just going to do simple, simple stuff today. So I'm not going to. That was my plan to do a festive get ready with me slash mukbang. I will keep it simple. I haven't heard back from the other interview yet, so but I'll give it time. I'm trying not to be a negative Nancy about it. Is this smoky eye too much? Is this too much? <laughs> yeah, that's sort of been my life recently. Just trying to feel festive, trying to relax, trying to also get my life together. So it always happens around this time of year. I mean this time last year I was leaving my other job. Same situation, same stresses about money, how are we gonna afford Christmas, how are we gonna make it through till the new year. It's just all, it's always this time of year so I'm sort of like used to it now. I have experience so I'm just trying to take each day as it comes and just not not stressed, just roll with the tide. Yeah, that's been me. So how have you guys been? Are you feeling festive yet? I mean, have you, have you finished your shopping? Do you not know what you want for yourself? That's always my struggle. I just don't know. There's, well, there's so many things I want but and so many things I need. Our rule like for Christmas is never buy what you need for Christmas because it should be a treat and you should get something that you want for Christmas, not what you need because I need like cleaning stuff <laughs> and that's not really something you should get for Christmas but I want like some kitchen kitchen stuff as well like I want a blender I want oh, what are they called like a slow cooker and I want a food processor processor and all that but because I need them I shouldn't have them for Christmas but I want I guess I just want makeup because I can't really afford it for myself now until I start working and, um, a lot because there's a lot of makeup that I want like I want Gaga's new palette I want um, Kesha's new palette and eyeliner there's so much Jeffree, Jeffree Star stuff that I want I am getting the Conspiracy palette for Christmas though so I'm so excited <laughs> So prepare yourselves for a lot of makeup videos in the future. I would do an unboxing, but because it is going to be literally Christmas day, I kind of want to just enjoy time with Ben and opening presents just without any cameras. So I still don't really know what I want. So leave in the comments what you guys are getting for Christmas or I'd say what you're getting for your family, but they might see the comment. <laughs> it's also my birthday three days after christmas so i don't really have anything major planned i know last year i vlogged we went to rugby watch a rugby match in wales which is bloody fun our team lost <laughs> which is probably my fault because i jinxed it so i don't really have a major plan i mean christmas day it's gonna be chilling the hell out with ben watching some films obviously indulging in food because i am not counting since that day absolutely not <laughs> i deserve that one cheat that one cheat day and then boxing day is actually also going to be a cheat day because ben's mum and sister are coming around which i'm quite excited for because i do i enjoy playing hostess <laughs> so we're gonna have like a little finger buffet and the 27th i always go around my mum's house for like our little family darts tournament so that's gonna be super fun and then obviously I I sleep over and then I wake up and it's my birthday and wrap my presents in my mum's house which I might vlog I was gonna vlog it last year but I didn't and then we normally I normally go out just me and mum yeah me and mum normally I told you I need new foundation see this isn't uh, vegan or cruelty free but it's the only foundation I like so if you have any recommendations for a, like a dupe or like a cruelty free version it's Max Factor X 
face, affinity, all day flawless, three in one foundation, primer, concealer, foundation in one, SPF 20, light ivory 40. I do have that much left. <laughs> Recommendations, leave them down below and I can maybe get one for Christmas because I don't I don't like products that aren't cruelty free. And my favourite like setting powder is Maybelline and I don't want to buy that again. But I have this elf. Not as good. And I have some like revolution setting powder. But it's like talcum powder and I can't I look washed out. I look dead. I don't wanna use that either. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, me and Mum go out for my birthday. Us gal pals and we do a bit of shopping and we also go to Costa. That's like our annual thing. Little Costa day, we sit in, I have one of those like cheese toasty sort of things and they have like special christmas ones which are incredible yes yeah, so we go to costa sit in just talk for hours and hours and hours <laughs> and so we sometimes like pop in the range which is like my favorite shop ever and it's like right next to costa but then we do go into town always go into super drug have a little walk around and just hang out together because there's no rush, we got the whole day. And then we come back, chill out, have a little mini party, me, mum, dad, gran and granddad, have like some cake. And then I sleep over again. And then I go home on the 29th. And then all that, it just all that time just flies by. Like the build up to Christmas is so long. And then those, that week, you blink and you miss it. And it's New Year, and I don't really, I don't really care too much about the New Year. I don't care about partying. I just like staying home, maybe with a takeaway, watching some telly by myself sometimes too. Like that doesn't really bother me. Like Ben usually goes out with his friends. I am invited, but I just don't, I just don't really partake. And I just used the wrong brush. <laughs> yeah, going out's not really my thing. I think for the past two years, I like haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> I mean, last. Yeah, I spent the new year, well, this year, the year just gone, January just gone, was picking Ben up from a party and him throwing up outside our house, so that's how I spent my new year. If you have any plans, comment them below, I want to know what you are up to. I've gone for like a purple look, that was not my intention whatsoever. That's not purple, why is it purple? I'm not going to do red because it's too much does red anyway. I'm just gonna do simple, simple stuff today. I can't even blend it out because I used the wrong <laughs> brush. Gotta roll with it. We're going purple today. Not very festive. <laughs> I can't blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. How can I use to blend it out? This, this is what happens when I talk and do makeup at the same time. <laughs> but let me know your traditions. Like, what do you guys do? I mean, my traditions are Christmas Eve is a takeaway and me and Ben watch the Tenacious D movie. Not a Christmas film by any means, but that's just what we do. Done that for the past two years. So we're starting that tradition. It's mainly, it's always a Chinese. It has to be a Chinese. Sometimes it's McDonald's. I mean, they used to be with my family before I moved, like for years. It was always like a Donner kebab. Used to go out for a little drive, look at all the Christmas lights. Yeah, so this year, well, new tradition i can't really talk while i do this tenacious d movie with a takeaway bed quite late but i always go to bed before midnight because i'm like when i wake up i'm like it's christmas i don't like staying up past midnight because it ruins the magic for me and then always wake up early no matter how tired i am you're never tired on christmas morning ever <laughs> obviously this is like the second christmas in this house so we haven't really got many traditions but uh, i think usually well ben woke me up get always get well i say we always used to get dressed at my mum's but now i just like stay in pajamas because why the hell not i'm a grown-ass adult like, if i want to stay in christmas pajamas all day i am going to <laughs> ben like lays out and organizes all the presents on the like on the table sit on the sofa and they're around the table and um, we also have like this little Christmas dish. It's got like three sections in it. It's a lovely dish. And then like organises like some sweets and snacks while we like open presents. You guys, you know Christmas morning, chocolate is breakfast. So sort of obviously get dinner started, but we're gonna change it up this year. I mean, last year we had like an already kind of like done chicken and we added some herbs and whatever to it. And we also had like a gammon sort of thing. And then your typical veg like i love sprouts i don't think we had this year we're going to do some yorkshire puddings but this year we're being weird 
and like doing steak because turkey and like chicken is a lot for two people i mean we might get like maybe a, like a little turkey crown for boxing day because it's going to be four of us and then we can sort of like pick at it the rest of the week having your own home is a good way to start new traditions buy some already done like turkey meat like for sandwiches and stuff because i always have a turkey sandwich with salad cream and then a side with cold roast potatoes which we're still doing we're still doing roast potatoes always have roast potatoes and then cold roast potatoes for tea turkey sandwich bit of maybe leftover stuffing in your sandwich and then just cold veg and more chocolate. <laughs> I'm keen, like, I love steak. It's like one of my favourite things to eat. So, and I don't know anyone else who has a steak for Christmas. So, if you do, comment below. This is fun to start new traditions. So, that's our plan. We haven't really, we haven't started like our food shop yet. So, I don't know when. And you guys do yours, but we sort of usually start it around now and just like get the non perishable items and like keep them in the cupboard, like bags of chocolate, like biscuits and whatever. And then closer to Christmas, obviously, we buy the meat and then freeze it, stock up on spuds and get fresh veg, like, probably, like, the week of Christmas, that food shop will be, like, all the veg and stuff. And ice cream. Viennetta, like, whirl ice cream is the tradition. Like, that's Ben's family's tradition and we have to bring that over to ours, so. <laughs> that's also, like, a fun thing because, obviously, you have your own, you have your family's traditions and then you can, like take them and change them and make them your own as well and carry it on through the family and i should probably do foundation i'm not wearing these either because holes in ears kind of scare people sometimes and people could be judgmental i should probably hide my nose piercing as well but no this is who i am deal with it but i hope you've been enjoying jellymus so far this is week three does that make sense last no next week is the last jellymus but i don't think that's right i mean i might do five weeks of jellymus why the hell not my birthday is always part of jellymus and then i know last year i did some baking i might do that again this year i really want to try and make like a half and well Ben's mum gave me a recipe for like Swimming World uh, like white chocolate chip cookies. I wanted to make some cookies. I've actually made cookies before or biscuits or whatever. So I wanted to make some of those and I wanted to do like melted snowmen. Obviously you got like the marshmallow and it looks like a melted snowman with like white icing. But last year's baking video, I don't know, I'm such a perfectionist because it doesn't look like other baking videos. Like it puts me off making baking videos because like I don't have kitchen goals and great aesthetics so i don't really do baking videos but maybe i should because christmas is all about baking isn't it really like i don't know it's a swimming world mince pies i really want christmas doesn't begin until like eat a mince pie and it has to be of double like runny cream as well. so i might i might save that really for christmas day because i don't want to eat too much crap leading up to christmas because i don't want to gain that much weight so I always put on a lot of weight around Christmas. Being my birthday as well and family family shenanigans, like there's a lot of eating involved. And I just can't help myself. Everything's just delicious. The great thing about turtlenecks is I don't really have to blend that well into my neck. <laughs> always use the natural light for when I blend. Cause this light's like okay. But then when I see I look by the window, I'm like, oh my god, I did not blend that well at all. I miss my other nose ring. The ball bloody fell out while I was asleep. I'm not picking my nose, by the way. Yeah. But yeah, the ball fell out while I was asleep because I had like a cold then. Whenever I like kept doing that, I would unscrew the ball and then it fell out. I don't have like any more of those rubber gloves, latex gloves to screw it back in because my hands get like super slimy. Can't put it back in just yet. So I have this pink one. I do have like a mandala kind of really pretty one with like an opal gem. But it's a bit too big for my face. That's what I should get for Christmas. Another nose ring. Because I, I do want to stretch my septum a little bit. Not like crazy. It's a 1.2 millimeter at the moment. Maybe like I'd like a 1.4 or a 1.6. So nothing crazy. Obviously depending on what job I'm gonna get in the future, kind of 
Depends on what I do with my face. Okay, I have literally been one hour. Oh my god. I just scored it on me. I have one hour. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. <gasps> oh no. This is the end of the world. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, my plan for today was to do a tutorial, like a festive tutorial. I mean, I can still do that in the future, or for jelliness, if you would like. But I thought, I mean, I'm already getting ready. There's no point in like coming home to take off makeup, to do like a yeah, festive look. Yeah. Do you mind phone? I'm talking. Yeah, there's no point in yeah, taking makeup off just to do like a festive look. So I thought, how oh, do we get ready with me? So I can have a little chit chat, see what you're up to, hang out with you, put this video on, get ready with me, go for it, or grab a snack. I'm also really over my pasta salad. Like it was good, but now I'm like, and I am hungry. Do you forget that? You're hungry, but like you're not hungry for like what's in front of you. Why do I do this to myself? I have a lot of like dry skin. I need to change up my skincare routine. That's what I should invest in, some nice products. Because I used to have a bloody good routine. All Lush products, which, funnily enough, I did buy on a previous birthday. I spent like over £100 on Lush products. What did I buy? I bought Herbalism which is like it looks like weed not even gonna lie it's like a really nice i don't even know what it is like it smells like green tea but it's just a really nice scrub and then i don't even know what else i used oh i don't remember it's a while ago cosmetic lad which is a moisturizer there's a woman in there like i told her what i was looking for because i did have quite bad skin but then and she like even wrote on like the tubs one two three like what order to use them in i can't remember it was oh it was um because the job i had at the time basket making like my face got very like dirty from all the wood and willow products and it was like disgusting like see i looked like clean but when you like deep scrubbed it was absolutely disgusting <laughs> so i had something i'll have to like google it and put a picture up on the screen but that was like the first thing you did to get all the dirt off and then you used herbalism just to give your skin like an extra little scrub add some moisture back in and then cosmetic lad after you've like scrubbed your face you kind of like leave the herbalism on like it is a face mask so you like rub it in leave it for a while for it to sort of dry wash it off pat your face with like a damp cloth and let your face dry naturally and then you use Cosmetic Lad and it's like a really like, I don't know, it feels oily, but it's it's not. And you just let that soak in your face and it's absolutely incredible. But I always did that before I went to bed. Because when I'd wake up, when I wake up, um, <laughs> would be when my face was like terrible. Like it is now. All this is just dry. All there. My lips are dry. My forehead's dry. I have like these horrible... It's not actually too bad, but like patches on my face, so like makeup just won't cover it. So, as I was saying, if you have like recommendations for skincare, I mean, I have my nose is oily and dry, my under eyes and cheeks are very dry, and my forehead is very dry so oily slash dry so whatever i need for that or just let me know what you use so i can check it out but i love discovering new skincare as well it's always fun to try i mean at the moment i'm using this still i mean i've included it in a monthly favorites 99p and it's a huge tub still going strong i don't my plan was to literally use it every day but Sometimes you just forget, don't you? What are your plans then for 2020? What are you up to? Anything exciting happening? What are your resolutions? It's not too early to talk about those. I don't really have any. I mean, I usually write like a blog post what my resolution, or like not resolutions, my goals for the new year. And I also look back on my blog post for like the beginning of like this year and like see what i've ticked off 
I don't remember what I've written. And the year before, I wrote horse riding, I, and I can now like tick that off. I did that this year. <laughs> yeah. What are your goals for twenty twenty? Like exciting, adventurous things, or just working on yourself? Little little goals you want to tick off on your bucket list? Just let me know. I don't really. I don't have any yet. I think mine's just uh, lose weight finally which is always like my resolution but i'm like i'm actually doing it <laughs> so hopefully during 2020 i'll reach my target of 11 and a half stone my target might change i might get to 12 and feel happy i just don't know yet but my ultimate goal for like a healthy weight is 11 and a half that's my goal to achieve that at some point this year i don't really have set targets of when to achieve things by because that sort of like puts too much pressure on you but if you do that fair enough that's sort of really it just try and be happy try and find work that i'm happy with and also works with me for like my social life maybe if you didn't really know what you want to achieve i will leave a link below to my blog and you can maybe see some goals that i've set for myself that you might want to set for you so go check that out if you would i'd be very appreciative I don't know cinnamon dissolved. I put like a whacking great cinnamon stick in there and this is gone. Mm. I don't have like ground powder cinnamon. I don't have any lips just yet, I'm still kind of eating. What I wanted for Christmas, which I did ask Santa for, is a princess planning slimming well planner. They are quite pricey. It's $34.99 for the one I want, but it's like a new year edition and it is a 12 week planner but you don't have to like buy one as soon as you join i mean of course i like, do that but i've been there it'll be 17 weeks on thursday which is a really long time and the planners only have like 12 weeks at a time but you can get one whenever because i'm gonna continue going obviously not just like 12 weeks and stop like most diets this isn't a diet <laughs> it's food optimizing so i kind of want that there's like a food diary in there like stats we call them stats like your hips chest waist like measurements quick stats and there's all sorts in there you can write down like your favorite foods so you can like for example i love ketchup so i can instead of having to go on the app every time to look for it you can just write it down like okay one tablespoon of ketchup is one sin boom and i think there's like maybe like a recipe page but it's like a ring binder so even if like you want to print off your own page for recipes and put them in there like that's also cool and it's, it looks really nice it comes with a free pen and like a really nice binder to put it all in a little folder so hopefully if i get one if santa thinks i've been good then i'll do a little video on it in the future once i like fill it out get used to it if you'd like if you would like a video on that give this video a thumbs up and obviously if i don't get one i'm just gonna buy one myself anyway because it's a good thing to have and then they're like refillable so once you get like the actual planner you can buy the 12 week diary like on its own for a tenner and put it back in your planner so yeah i just think it's it's a good thing to have it's motivational one of my friends has one or two of my friends have one actually one of my friends was the one who actually introduced me to it and sent me all the links for it and then i saw on instagram one of my other friends just recently bought one so it definitely motivated me to definitely get one because they look amazing like, nothing else has really been going on just job searching interviews Try and get my life together, try to enjoy the holidays, take time for myself, make more videos, and just see what happens. See where it goes. That's the vibe I'm going for to end this year on. And um, just during the new year, the whole, not even the beginning of the year. The whole of 2020, I just want just to stay positive. I just want, I want 2020 to be as bright and blinding as a highlight. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a freaking earthquake the other day. That's what happened. Like, it was 10 to 11 at night and I was like gonna get, go to sleep, I had like an interview, I had to get up early, and there was a freaking earthquake. <laughs> like, what? I mean, I know, like, big deal, because it was no big deal, because other countries get devastating earthquakes and it ruins lives for us i know like 
us British folk are very over dramatic about everything. Like, as soon as winter hits, it's like, oh, it's freezing, oh, I'm gonna die, it's cold. Like, it was just weird because obviously I don't really experience that often. Like, and the whole house shook. I thought, like, the neighbours, like, someone fell over or, like, their dog hit something and it hit the wall. But, like, it started, like, from this wall and, like, travelled. And then my bedpost, like, hit the wall. But then I thought something fell over in the spare room and hit the wall. But I was like, okay, that was really weird. The whole house shook. I'm gonna go to bed now. And then, like, before I went to bed, like, I scrolled through Facebook and then my dad, like, wrote an update, like, did anyone else feel that? And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> And then the whole of Facebook was just like, was that an earthquake? Like, what the hell happened? And then it was literally an earthquake. And then someone sent me like a link to, you can mark where you are and how strong the tremor was. But it was like a 4.1, it was either 3.5 or a 4.1 actual earthquake. Like just a quick tremor. Like what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual hell? So that happened. And that <laughs> shook the world. It was an experience, let's just say that. But apparently they were like happening through the whole day. But like I didn't feel anything until then. I'm glad it wasn't just me, like, losing my marbles. <laughs> There's the cinnamon. Delightful. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end this here. I need to brush my teeth, maybe something else to eat. Put lipstick on and get the hell out of the door. And on my way, so. Yes, that is it for today's little video. I really hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and just having a little chit chat. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment, please do, or just say hi down there somewhere. And make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to become a member of the Jellybean family. I would love to have you and until my next video make sure to stay humble stay festive and wonderful and i will see you in the next one bye